Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is a reading for you. Um, I wanted to get a few from this one. I have one fall out. Uh, we are going to take it. Okay, I want you to look at this. Um, this is like yin and yang, but this is also infinity. This is, we have here a two, and then I'm drawn to the four right there. Um, this is a feeling, but we also say change. So, this is a feeling that something's coming to light. Something may also be coming back around. Uh, what goes around comes around. Um, I feel like that, um, whatever this is, it has to come about. It's destined. Destiny. It's like destiny is playing a part. And, um, you know, Whatever this is, it's meant. And that's something that you should really remember is that it's, you know, yeah. We're going to take a, oh my goodness. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, we got um, an, another two. And we got peace, you know, it's like the Two of Swords, but that's, this is peace. So, something's about to change that's going to bring peace of mind. Uh, we got the, the Aeon, and then we have here the Moon. It's going to bring a peace of mind about something that has not been clear to you. Uh, there's something that hasn't been clear. Whatever this is, you're going to have a peace of mind about it. For some of you, this has to do with a love relationship. For some of you, it has to do with um, something else. Possibly work. Possibly friend. Possibly family. Okay, if this is love related, devil reversed. Something's going to be revealed um, that's going to change the way you look at things. Um, it's going to change the way that you look at... A connection you know where you once okay it's this is like okay if this is love related there's a strong chemistry here there's a strong attraction there's a strong uh, connection in the past it was toxic we've come away from that the way you look at it the way you see it's going to be differently be different because it, there's a sense of peace coming to it uh, so, someone's coming back around. There's something coming back around. Tell us more. Yeah, judgment. And, the, okay, you see, it feels like there's been a lot of um, commotion, a lot of uh, possibly backbiting, you know, uh, possibly fussing, fighting in the past. And um, it's like, you know, this is something, there's been lots of, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, there's been a lot of karma around this. A lot of karmic lessons. But this is looking at things differently, seeing things differently, different things changing, things, um, okay. Four of Wands is reversed. We've got someone from your past that's taken on the King of Pentacles energy is dwelling about something that happened with you. Something about home or family or a relationship with you. Something that didn't go forward or it was going forward and then it collapsed. Um, they want to talk to you. They want to give you some communication to clear up what has happened. Whatever this is that's fallen apart. They want to shed some light. You see here? They're showing it. The truth comes out that shed some light on what you couldn't see before because they're going to open up and be honest with you and it's going to make you very happy. It's going to lighten your load. You know, you're going to feel more at peace about this if this is love-related or uh, romance-related, you know. Um, and the past, remember, the past can be yesterday. Yeah. Uh, this could be a soulmate connection. We've got the lovers on the bottom, and I'm drawn to it. Okay, now, if this is uh, work-related, and again, a truth will be told. A truth will come out. You'll see the truth about something. And it will help you bring a healing and bring a sense of balance 
to whatever the situation is as far as work related. Okay, if this is family, friend related, family or friend related, devil card again. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, you may be dealing with a Virgo. Uh, the Hermit is here to bring peace around whatever was negative in the past. Uh, you know, it's like you had some kind of negative something went on with someone in your family or a fr friend and the Hermit's here because I feel like that something's about to change. Something There's going to be a truth told and it's going to be healed. Wow. That is amazing there. And the extended, I'm going to look at Aquarius. I'm going to look at Virgo. Leo. Capricorn. Just let me get a look, see here. Scorpio, Cancer, and I'm going to look at Pisces. Let's see if there's any more. Any more Aries. I'll look at Aries. So in the extended, I'll look at those signs. But I also want to take you one of these. I feel like I should. For Aquarius. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I wanted two. I got two. Okay, we got a number one, the fledgling. Where did it all begin? Where did it start? You see what I'm saying? Um, you're going to be looking back at the beginning. Something's going to have you looking at where it all began. Um, and then we got number four, which is high priestess of water. Uh, really finding... It's almost like seeing your emotions for what they are. Feeling your emotions for what they are. I'm going to read to you out of the book for those. Um, we got number one, which is fledgling. Let me find it. Okay, fledgling. Dear one, when you receive the symbol of the fledgling, know that you are blessed with a time of learning new things. So it's time to learn new things. It's time to come away with knowledge. Okay. This is a time for you to remember that you cannot know things until you experience them. So know that everything you experience is a learning experience. Being in the this evolving state means you may stumble a bit. Don't expect yourself to be perfect. Now is the time for being gentle with yourself as you step into your destiny to become the beautiful person you are meant to be. When the fledgling appears, to you. It is a sign of new growth and wonderful new opportunities. Step forward with curiosity and a willingness to learn and discover. That is beautiful. Now let's look at our High Priestess of Water, number four. Dear one, when my vampire High Priestess of Water visits you, it is to remind you that all things change. Like the powerful element she represents. After, let's see. Give me just a second. I've lost my, Okay. Water is a transforming element that flows in rivers, makes waves in the vast ocean, turns to hard, cold ice, and disappears as hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes, white fluffy clouds, and rain. When you draw the symbol of water, it signifies at it signifies a time 
when things in your life are changing. Shape. Right before your very eyes. Go with the flow. As these changes are powerful signs of wondrous experiences, lessons, and gifts. Even if you don't understand these changes at the moment, you will later. So that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. That's what I've got for you. Um, and thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for your prayers. Please keep them coming. You know, this is, it's still got, you know, we're still trying to get over it. Um, it's been hard. But we're, we are truly blessed. And until um, next time. Bye. Thank you.